So there are a lot of great features that you can add to man-made deer bedding areas. Um, I've done a ton of videos showing how I like to lay those out. There's one thing that I recommend in almost all of my man-made bedding areas and that is adding in isolated conifers. Isolated conifers make for great bedding structure for deer. So today what I'm going to do is I'm going to transplant a bunch of conifers on our farm and I'm going to strategically place them in different bedding areas we have that I've made throughout the farm. So stick with me and I'll show you how I lay it out. Alright, so here are some of the first trees I'm going to snag. Actually, there's quite a few scattered throughout this ditch on our driveway, these volunteer white pines. Uh, it's the beginning of May. Yeah, I'm getting a little bit late on my tree planting here, but I am in Minnesota, right on the border of growing zone 3 and 4, so I still do have a little bit of time. And this is when I had time to do this project. So I'm going to pluck these out, and I am going to place them in. These first ones are going to go in a switchgrass bedding area. Now you can see these are probably three footers, maybe a little better. When transplanting, I tried to grab as much of that root ball as possible. I had really good luck doing transplants out here on the farm. I just left all the dirt and everything with it, so it's just a big old mass of dirt and roots there. But nice, healthy looking trees. I'm going to get water on them right away. Rain tomorrow, so should be good. See, you got a big old deep hole there where I stole that tree. I was trying to get as much of this as I could right here. So, shouldn't be much for roots left. Alright, that was the first tree planted. You can see where I'm at. I'm kind of in the sea of this open area we've added a lot of switchgrass too planted some trees and out there in this area but the spots i'm honing in on for these trees i'm planting today these uh white pine are these open pockets that i have throughout the switchgrass so the deer tend to bed in these open pockets up next to the switchgrass they love the structure that the switchgrass provides, but they don't want to be in the thick of it. It's very rare that I find beds actually in the thickest part of the switchgrass. What they do is they hone in on these spots that are a little bit more open, and they bed up next to it. They use it as their bedding structure. So what I'm doing today is I'm going into these little pockets, and I'm adding additional bedding structure with these conifers because isolated conifers just make for phenomenal bedding locations. So that's why I picked the edge of the switchgrass for this conifer. All right, number two done. You can see I had a nice kind of little indent, little pocket in the switch. Those are spots the deer tend to hone in on when they're looking for bedding locations out in the switchgrass. So it was a perfect spot to stick that younger white pine. And the other thing I'm looking for, as you can see, I'm up on a hilltop right here, actually just below the crest of the hill, the kind of crest goes up there. This is kind of a sort of pseudo bench in here, but these are those spots just below the crest of the hill the deer love to bed as long as they're flat. So I'm picking flat spots in the CRP. I'm picking spots where there's open pockets like this to stick these trees. These are the lo locations out here that the deer are going to want to bed. It's pretty cool to see I'm on this other knoll here and look at that. It's the tree I just planted before this. Definitely stands out in the, uh, in the switchgrass. I love it. Adding some diversity out here.
one other thought on why I'm planting where I'm planting. So here's tree number three. Now my plan is to plant a majority of these trees on the west side of the open pockets. Probably 75% of the trees I put in the switchgrass are going to be on the west side of the open pockets because the time that they use the switchgrass the most is October, November. Predominant wind, once we get into late October, November, during the rut is northwest and the deer tend to like to bed up next to the structure with the wind coming over their back so i want to put the structure on the west side of these open pockets so the deer can tuck in right there have the wind coming over his back and then he can look out over all this those are the type of spots that bucks want to bed this was the area my buck was bedded last year that i shot with my rifle and he was bedded on the west side of one of these open pockets and ended up going into the wind that direction and I got him over there. So that's what I'm thinking with the, the majority of these conifer placements is west side, northwest side of these open pockets. Alright, I'm going to stick one. This is actually facing south. We do sometimes get warm ruts so I want to have, maybe I'll do two or three on these northerly slopes let that south wind blow over the deer's back so one other thing i want to add so this is early may this is not the ideal time to be transplanting trees i'm kind of towards the end of my tree plant window it's best to transplant trees when they're still dormant and all our trees here as you can see broke dormancy probably about 10 days ago but spring is a busy time for me so this is when i'm doing it but i have transplanted them after they've broken dormancy, you'll probably lose a few, but a big reason why I'm hoping I'll have some success today where I'm confident I'll have some success. One, I'm watering them as I'm planting them. We got rain coming tomorrow and then we got cooler temps after this. So should be, should be able to get quite a few of these to make it, but these were free trees to me. We got plenty of volunteer trees I can move around on the farm. And I just wanted to kind of do uh, a video to demonstrate you know how to set this up so if I lose a few I'll just fill them in next year Got a little lean on that one but for the most part these trees straighten if you got if you didn't get them perfectly up and down they will straighten over time so best time to transplant trees is actually the fall um, I know a lot of people want to be in the deer stand in the fall so normally when I end up transplanting is immediately after the frost gives out in the spring that's where you're gonna have really high success rate but with the the rain and the cool temps coming, I should be able to get plenty of these to make it too. Oh, I found that dirty bugger out here when I was planting buckthorn. I don't know what it's doing out here. Birds must have planted it for me. I'm trying to kill it all on the farm, but stinking invasives find a way. So dug that up. We'll let it dry out right up on top of the gopher mound there. All right, all done. See, I got trees scattered throughout the switchgrass. So he's going to make for some excellent, excellent bedding structure. Definitely a good project today. I got the whole afternoon still open to do some work, so I'm going to take a little break and I'll do a part two here, but for part two I'm going to move into the timber. So follow the channel and uh, you'll see that video after I upload this one. All right, y'all take care. God bless.